Safran's proposal to co-develop a cutting-edge 110 kilonewton thrust engine with India's DRDO has emerged as a transformative initiative, promising to elevate the performance of India's fifth-generation advanced medium combat aircraft and modernize France's Rafale fleet. This collaboration aligns with global trends in propulsion technology, where higher thrust, fuel efficiency, and adaptability to next-gen systems are critical for maintaining air dominance. Technical edge for the AMK India's AA, designed as a stealthy multi-role fighter, requires a robust engine to achieve super cruise, sustained supersonic flight without afterburners, and advanced maneuverability. Current engines like the GE F414, 98 kilonewtons, fall short of the thrust needed for fifth-gen capabilities. Safran's 110 kilonewton engine, with its 20% higher thrust, would empower the AMK to carry heavier payloads, fly faster, and operate with reduced infrared and radar signatures. The engine's adaptive cycle technology could optimize fuel burn across flight regimes, extending range range and loiter time for deep strike missions. Additionally, advanced heat-resistant alloys and cooling mechanisms would enhance durability in India's extreme climates, reducing maintenance cycles and life cycle costs. Revitalizing the Rafale fleet For the Rafale, already renowned for its agility and versatility, Safran's engine offers a mid-life upgrade opportunity. The 110 kilon thrust would boost the Rafale's payload capacity beyond 9.5 tons and combat radius currently 1,850 kilometers, enabling it to deploy larger weapons or additional fuel tanks for Indo-Pacific operations. Enhanced fuel efficiency would also align with the Rafale's omni-roll demands, allowing longer missions without mid-air refueling. Crucially, the engine's modular design would simplify retrofitting existing Rafales, ensuring seamless integration with upgraded avionics and AI-driven systems planned under France's future combat air system. Strategic collaboration. The Safran DRDO partnership underscores deepening Indo-French defense ties. For India, the project advances self-reliance. Goals by transferring critical engine tech, a long-standing gap in India's aerospace ecosystem. France gains access to India's growing defense market while securing a partner for scaling next-gen engine production. The collaboration also opens export avenues. Southeast Asian and Middle Eastern Rafale operators could adopt the 110 kilonewton engine, while the AMCA, powered by this engine, may attract buyers seeking a cost-effective alternative to the F-35. Challenges and future prospects. While promising, the project faces hurdles. Developing a 110 kilonewton engine from scratch demands 12-15 years and billions in investment. Safran and DRDO must balance performance with affordability, particularly for India's budget-conscious military. However, success would position the AMIA as a peer to the F-22 Raptor and cement the Rafale's edge over rivals like the F-15EX or Su-35. Safran's 110 kilonewton engine proposal is more than a technical upgrade, it's a strategic enabler. For India, it unlocks fifth-gen air power. For France, it extends the Rafale's global relevance. As both nations navigate an era of contested airspace, this engine could redefine their aerospace trajectories, enhancing their capabilities and strengthening their positions in the global defense landscape.